crush on me is a fun synth pop, electro pop, quirky, indie pop, buzzwords, random descriptors album. This is an artist that's relatively new to the scene, I believe. This is the first album from Sir Baby Girl, which is a, I think is um, equally as eclectic of a name as the music that she puts forward here. She's very often on the nose with her delivery, straight to the point, just kind of says what's on her mind in a pretty witty, funny, sarcastic way, which often makes me chuckle a little bit. I like her attitude on this album. She tells these little funny anecdotes which um, basically are her telling the listener that she just messes up sometimes, but she just owns it in a, in, a, in a way that I think is really kind of admirable. Like there's this playfulness to how she's just like, I'm an idiot, why did I do that? I'm stupid, well, what, why? Like on the track flirting with her where she's just talking about flirting with this girl, but she's completely like kind of fucking up and just, uh, you know, being, uh, not trying to be herself, which she sort of just messes up a little bit. Being herself just brings along this extra baggage that she completely detests and hates about herself. But she, at the same time, just owns it in a, in a way that I just like. It makes her some really entertaining pop songs that I um, really enjoy for the most part. Um, actually, her vocals at times have this shrillness to them which uh, can get a bit grating, but it does remind me a little bit of Cindy Lauper um, at times from her, like, heyday. She does do this, like, <laughs> at times that's just really, like, oh, well, like, uh, I'm just not feeling it at all. But I think that kind of element of her weirdness and eclecticness could probably add to a lot of people's taste to this album. Like, I think you could definitely get on board with it. Um, a little bit more than I did anyway. I guess one of my issues with this album is the um, everyone is a bad friend where I feel like there's a satirical angle that she's trying to play on this track that I just don't feel like is is coming off particularly very well. Um, uh, some of the lyrics at times are just kind of her tr doing that thing where she's just like pointing out her flaws but she, there's not really like a way of her overcoming her flaws like she's just kind of like stating them out there it would have been good to just sort of see some kind of like resolution i know sometimes there isn't a resolution but it's just sort of as if like she's just being like yeah i'm i'm a bit shit sometimes but that's kind of it maybe i'm just missing something with the lyrics here but i'm just not really feeling this track it also gets a bit repetitive with the the flow the everyone it just kind of goes on and on and on a little bit too much to the point where it just starts getting a bit mundane and boring. Denied pink light though, that chorus that comes through of pink light is just momentous. It's just indie pop at its finest this track. It, it's a great song. But yeah, that's kind of it really for this album. It's, it's just a really short, snappy to the point, fun pop album that stays the perfect length, 26 minutes. Um, I guess the only real thing for me is that I'm just not really feeling like an urge to go back to it. Um, I'm just kind of like listening to it and enjoying it while it's on, but I'm not like, I want to listen to this again, which I think is a bit of an issue for something that's so short, because you would think that it's so short that you'd want to keep replaying it. But I just don't know if there's much replay value here. I don't really know what's holding me back. But like with the Gum Takes uh, Tooth album, which I gave like a 7.5 to, I, I just had an urge to keep going back to it and now it's become like an 8 out of 10 for me. So um, it's just one of those things where I'm just not really like that connected to the music here, even though it is really enjoyable. So with that, I guess a 7 out of 10 is what I'm going to go with. It's a good album. I think people could absolutely adore this. It's probably going to go quite overlooked throughout the year, I imagine. But um, for pop music, you can't really go wrong with this. Have listened to it, let me know your thoughts, and um, do check it out if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for having a good day. Bye.